Hello everyone, welcome to JS Cakes and my name is Deepak. In the previous tutorial, you would have seen that we have built a basic application in the UI and now we are going to be continuing from the place where we had left in the last video. So without further ado, please keep glued your keep yourself glued to this particular channel and if you have not really subscribed to my channel, please do so and also hit the bell icon. Let's get growling. Firebase directly, right? Public key. Yes, we had achieved it. So let's copy this. I think it's loud uh, let me put this here put a pen i think we have achieved this one and now token needs to be saved in the backend node.js util this is also we have received now we have received the token as well and that's something which we will save and store in the node.js utility that we are going to be building in a moment i think the all the thing which are required for the front end is done right so now let's start the backend or the node.js part right so now let us just start the node.js part right so in node.js we are going to be basically the node.js we are going to be storing the token that we have received in the web app as the arrow also suggests that the web app token must be saved in the node.js utility or in the backend and using that token we are going to be generating the push notification to our serve to our web application right so we have got the token and now let's just go to the vs code and start writing code for our node.js utility so in order to write that first of all let me just close everything here right so i think we are done with the ui side of code and i'm now going to be creating a server code right so let just put let me just create a folder over here with the name server now let me install the firebase admin the firebase admin is basically the uh, the sdk that we are going to be making use of so before that or let me go to the vs let me quickly take you to the browser window and then i'll show you what really required in this particular case right so i think we have done this part web now let's talk about the server environment okay so in order to run the server right or in order to run the server or you can also call it as the node.js utility we are just going to be writing a small node.js utility we are not going to be writing the express server database and everything else at this moment but if you need any tutorial around it if you if you really want to know and learn how node.js work and how you can create an apis around it please do write down in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to help you by creating some of the samples and and publishing a tutorial around it right so now here in this case um, we can see that there are two options that a user can or rather there are two paths a user can possibly take so what are those so first is either we can create using the firebase admin sdk as it's shown here and it has a support for node.js java python c and go available the other is basically by using FCM HTTP V1 API client, a REST API client with the secure, authorized, and flexible cross platform messaging capabilities. The Firebase as admin SDK is based on this protocol and provides all its inherent, inherent advantages. <clears throat> In our case, we are not going to be making use of the second, we are going to be making use of the first one, which I have highlighted right now on my screen, which is the Firebase admin SDK. And let's see what it has to do to run the Node.js uh, because since we are making a Node.js uh, utility, so let's just see what it really says and how to set up the Node.js thing. Firebase Admin SDK. And in the Firebase Admin SDK, it says, see, let's see the list of things it can possibly do. The first is send message to an individual device. That's exactly what we are going to be doing. You can actually create a utility to send messages to topic and condition statement that matches one or more topics. You can actually subscribe and unsubscribe to devices to and from the topics. Construct a message payload tailored for a different targeted platform. That also we can do. But in our case, we are just going to be limiting ourselves to sending a message to an individual devices as as here, which is the first particular task. But then if you want to know more about it, please do write in the comment section below. I'll try to create a separate video tutorial around it. Uh, but before that, let's just start doing our thing right so let's just click on this bit and add the firebase admin sdk to your server in order to add this 
what we really need is we are going to be using the node.js so let's just quickly scroll down to this point here at the sdk let me copy this bit and firebase admin is what we really need right so let me quickly go back to vs code once again so let me do the npm init first Clicking right up the thing down here and then do the clear thing again and in the server now we can see that it has really kept all the details needed so it's the thing let me now do npm install firebase admin all right let me close this bit here here as well let me try creating a simple file until this is getting installed so the server name i'm going to be keeping as let's say the file name i'm going to be keeping at let's say server.js or let's say index.js right now in the index.js i'm going to be writing some code and that code is fairly fairly simple right so please understand this that right now i have written a plain simple code but then if you wish you can actually write a more comprehensive um code here to basically send messages to your client device and in our case we are not going to be creating the express js space server and a database in order to store the token that we have received from the ui by using the firebase sdk for client but we are going to be basically right so in our case we are just going to be writing a basic utility we will try to copy paste that token which we have received from the from the ui and and we'll try to send this node this this particular token to the firebase cloud messaging and from there firebase cloud messaging would trigger a message to our client device right Three step process as we had seen in the drawing earlier so let me write down the code first const admin So now this is another. Okay. So here, before we start writing the server utility, we also need to basically get the token from the Firebase, right? So how do we receive that particular token from the Firebase? The token which is required for your Node.js utility to communicate with your FCM. So in order to receive that particular service account, let me quickly firstly, let me quickly take you back to the Chrome. And here in the Chrome, I'm going to be basically logging in the console. So let me open the console over here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please understand that although I am showing you my Firebase account and all the keys and other things, please don't try to hack this. By the time you try to hack this, I'm pretty sure I would have taken this application down already. So it's not really going to be very useful for you. Please understand. And if you really wish to do better work, if you, if you really wish to do some hacking kind of stuff, I would still suggest you better do that. And there are many other ways through which you can contribute to the society rather than being a pain for everyone else, right? So let's 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 not be a pain for anyone. And right, so I've logged in here. And in case of cloud messaging, let's go here. Or rather, I really need to open the project setting. Project settings, service account. Before I could read anything from here, let me read the documentation once again. Let's see where I can get initialize the SDK that's done. Okay, I need Google application credentials and how can I download this? This to be a way. 
all right so in order to download this particular service account file you will have to click on the service account and settings so now let's see in our application so yeah we have written, written, clicked on the service account so let's see and here it is so let me copy this bit and i'm going to be putting this particular key over here let me put this here students details pwa service account now we have received the service account details as well let us just do the initialization of the app initialize app and then here let's put the credential and there you go and here now i'm going to be basically i need this detail which i'll come to a little while later and then let me prepare a message body what do you think we can we basically need a message let's say notification let me put this here Look like a charm that's a message body that i wish to send and then let me send the token as well so token is gonna be from ui now i've received now i have also prepared the message after preparing the message i need to send it to the fcm so in order to send this to the fcm to initiate a push message i really need to call messaging send message and then and then in case of an arrow we record the error as well error in sending the message i think we're pretty much done here so let me save this thing over here let's just quickly cross verify if we have done everything right all right so now we have written the message we have written everything we really need now let me quickly try to get the token which is required for the push notification to be sent so in order to do so let me quickly go to the chrome and i'm going to be running this application once again although the token is listed right here i close everything down and wait for a moment and this is the server token that we really need to put it in the node.js utility so let's go to the code get the node.js utility i'm going to be putting this right here save this bit and then yep we are good to go so let's just run this the clean up arrow node.js and yep now we can see that the message has been sent successfully and i can also see the message appearing here on my desktop over here but then i really cannot show you all of it so in order to show you what can i do i'll share the screen in a larger okay 
so it's not really going to be very visible to you okay so i can see that the messages are coming to my browser to to my desktop already but then um in order to show you i'm going to be sharing sharing the entire screen and please mind it that the entire screen is going to be they, i'm using a pretty large monitor so uh, what you see on your screen is going to be very clumsy and small in the size and font but i just want to show you that the notification not being received on my desktop so let me quickly here so on the left hand side you can see where currently my mouse hovers is the application that i'm running right side is the node.js utility that i'm going to be running so here uh if you look at the bottom right bottom left part here bottom right part here where my currently my mouse is i'm going to be running this once again node index.js it's going to be triggering a message to my ui and there you go so now you can see that i have received a message over here as you can see highlighted mouse right so this is the message that i've received it worked like a charm so let me close this down and let's say let me write it on something more angular pwa tutorial and then let me run this once again and there you go so now you can see that the application has received another message and then for receiving a message i had also written a console log so here you can see that every time i receive a message there is also a console log written here as you probably would have noticed that i had written it in the push service so yeah by that i think we have covered the push messages as well so thank you thank you very much ladies and gentlemen uh for listening and all that while and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon in case if i create new videos you will be notified please note that each of the tutorial that i'm making requires a lot of effort it requires me to read a lot many times although i've worked on all these technologies myself day in day out but then sometimes when you create a video tutorial you really need to study hard so it is uh, please if you feel really liking my work please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and also do share these videos so now um, i'm going to be wrapping up this particular series so i hope you would have enjoyed the series pretty much and then in case if you want me to focus on certain things please don't forget to write down in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to create separate video tutorials around it also note that i'm going to be pushing this entire code in the repository in a moment but then please don't try to hack uh, the firebase uh, account of mine i'm going to be disabling the entire application in just a moment after i stop recording the video tutorial so thank you very much once again ladies and gentlemen so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for all your support i'm receiving pretty much i'm receiving a lot of love and positive comments from my community and i'm trying to improve my content as well at the same time it's an absolute pleasure to host these tutorials for you ladies and gentlemen and in case if you're liking my work please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and also share these videos as much as you can and i think uh, we are pretty much done with the pws series in the next series or or in the next tutorial i'm i may um write down things for the background sync and we will talk about the background sync function in the next tutorial but for now i think i'm pretty much done with the pws series and thanks for listening in all that while um and i hope to see you in the next one uh thank you very much